Hey guys, um, I'm going to be showing you how to do a really quick everyday five minute application well put together look. So on this side, this is my everyday just well put together on the go look only five minutes and then on this side I'm wearing nothing at all. So let's get started. First, you're going to take a moisturizer. Now, if you want a little bit more coverage for the day, you can use a tinted moisturizer. So the, the tinted moisturizer I use is from Sephora. This one's tan, SPF 20. The whole point is to get your face moisturized before your, um, you know, and SPF is important. So I'm going to go ahead and just put on the tinted moisturizer everywhere. You can use your hands if you like, or you can just use a regular moisturizer. It doesn't have to have any color in it. I just like a little bit more coverage, so that's what I'm doing now. Okay, so you just put it everywhere, slap it on. This is a quick process. So, tint and moisturizer, all done. Now I'm going to go ahead and do concealer. So, for the concealer I use is Full Cover from Makeup Forever. This is number 10. The reason I like it so much is because it is waterproof, so it stays on all day. It covers the blemishes, the dark circles all day. You don't have to worry about your makeup coming off. So this I usually slap on with my finger because I'm not trying to look for a brush, but if you want to use a concealer brush, feel free. Then I also always put it on my eyelid and a little bit on my brow because this is going to help everything stay kind of like a primer. And it's going to really help just make everything look even. And then I have some blemishes down here. So I'm going to go ahead and cover these blemishes with this. And a little here and there. So bam. Blemishes, dark circles, concealed. And next step. So then you're going to finish off your complexion. So I'm going to use a little bit of the Smashbox halo mineral powder and I'm gonna buff it on with a buffing brush I love buffing brushes because they really lock your makeup onto your skin and also this is a great mineral powder to get I'm using the medium one because this is the only hydrating mineral powder and I have dry skin so powders normally don't look that awesome on me so I prefer to have um, a liquid but this one's great because it's going to set in that tin moisturizer and concealer as well as just give me a little bit extra coverage but not look heavy or look like I'm wearing too much so now my skin is fully even um, blemishes are covered and everything's locked in okay so next we're going to do bronzer and highlighter now I'm going to contour my face, but I'm also going to use it like eyeshadow. And this is also what makes the steps so quick um, because you're not looking for your eyeshadow and things like that. You're just slapping on the same products for multiple purposes. So first I'm going to take my highlighter. This highlighter is from NARS. It's called Albatross. It's my favorite highlighter ever. It looks great on all skin tones. And I'm going to go ahead and put it underneath my brow here to give that emphasize under the arch. And then also in the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm going to take a feather brush or you could use the same fluffy eyeshadow brush and put it underneath my eye. So this is going to give that really pretty glow here that looks like I have absolutely no dark circles and I walk around super glowy and looking really dewy like that JLo glow kind of thing so now all the darkness around the eyes concealed my eyes brighter and now we're gonna use the bronzer for contour for your face and for your eyes like eyeshadow so first I'm gonna take the eyeshadow brush the same one we're using and then I go ahead and go back and forth in your crease now this is going to give just enough color on your lid, but not too much. And it really just gives a little bit of depth. So it just emphasizes your crease really nicely. And it blends itself out really well because it's a bronzer, so it's sheer. 
So that's the. So after I put it on the eyes, I'm going ahead and put it on the cheeks. So with bronzer, you want to start at the temple here, bring it down, and then swoop it underneath to give yourself contour. Then I'm going to take my favorite blush. This blush, it's from Tarte. It's called Flesh. It also looks great on all skin tones. And it gives just enough pop on the cheek, but it still looks natural. So I have it on this side too, just enough. Okay, so now that everything with complexion's done, we're going to do the eyes. Now I'm going to use Tarnish from MAC. It's basically a really pretty kind of like green, dark green color instead of black. And I'm going to use this underneath my eyes. And this is called tight lining. What tight lining does is it's a natural way to wear your eyeliner as well as it makes your lashes look thicker automatically. So I went ahead and after tight lining, I went ahead and just did my cat eye because I love to do cat eyes. But again, it's up to you on how you want to wear your liner. Um, it's just I prefer to wear it this way. So after that, of course, you're just going to do some mascara. Um, I prefer using the Urban Decay Lush Lash Mascara. It's a new one. I have the smallest lashes ever, if you can tell. So I like to use this because it gets a lot of length and it still separates without getting clumpy. Um, so I go ahead and put this on everywhere. And then also I like to put a little bit on the bottom here just to give an illusion of liner because I don't like to wear liner on the bottom when I'm on the go. Um, and then also, say you might be going somewhere a little bit more special, usually this is like my, I'm on a date look, because on a date, you know, you want to still look natural, but still have a little oomph. So, I actually like to put corner lashes on, so that's why my lashes look a little bit nicer and thicker. So, I actually get lashes from, believe it or not, Forever 21 has some cute ones or just anywhere in general that has some, you know, cheaper lashes. You don't have to go crazy because I actually cut them in half and make corners. So this is a corner lash right here and I actually reuse them a lot. So I'm going to take the duo glue and I'm just going to go ahead and pop this on the corner. And again, I mean, if you want to be more natural, you can stop and not do this part and stop at the mascara. But like I said, I like to do sometimes a little extra pop and it still looks natural and people do not know that it's false lashes most of the time. So, went ahead and just popped. And corners are really easy to do too because you don't have to worry about the entire strip like and how um, it meets in the very far corner because that can be the most tricky part. So, corner lashes are actually really easy to use. You just pop them in the corner and call it a day. And then, lastly, we're going to do brows. Because brows are important, ladies. You want to make sure that you do your brows. Because your brows are like a frame to your face. And literally, I just got this one from Sally Hansen. It's, um, it's called Brunette. So, with this, I always start at the arch. And it's always good to start the arch so that you don't have a strong line in the front. I cannot tell you, ladies, how fake it looks when you have a strong line starting at the beginning of your brow. So I'm going to go ahead and just start here and then bring it over and real quickly bring it to the front. And then it's going to have a brush on the end. That way you can brush it out and blend it out in the front so it looks as natural as possible we don't want a strong line in the beginning of your brow it looks so unnatural and actually the lighter sometimes the better rather than having a super dark 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 brow it looks more natural so that's my brow basically and then lastly we're gonna do a little bit of lip now Stains are ideal because stains stay on all day. And I like to use lip pencils to stain my lips before putting on gloss. That way when I eat or anything like that, I still have some color on um, my lips. So I'm going to go ahead and use Spiced from MAC. It's a great 
kind of natural lip pencil. So you line it and then you're going to go ahead and fill in your lips. So this kind of gives you that extra pop but still look natural. It kind of gives you that like Angelina Jolie like pucker lip. It's not too much color but just enough and it's still natural. So that's basically my everyday look and literally it takes only five minutes to do because you're using multiple products to do multiple things and I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any more requests or anything like that and stay tuned to Be Beauty Marked.